Hello everyone, it's Elizabeth, and I'm here in my art loft again, working on my next journal, my butterfly journal, and I made a big boo-boo. I counted out my pages, I looked for all of the ones that had this particular butterfly image on it, and I separated them by color of the butterfly into signatures. However, I had turquoise, blue, purple, red, gold, green, brown. Green and brown were in together. And turquoise, blue, gold, purple, red, green, brown. And then I had one that had void in it. Well, that makes seven. So seven different... Uh, signatures and I only wanted six different signatures so I decided to use the uh, six pages that I was going to have in the void signature and to make them the covers for each of the signatures so these are the signatures that I've come up with I'll show you the total walkthrough later but this is the way it will look in the journal with these signatures first second third fourth fifth and sixth and when you have the uh, cover on it, then I will have, I've already put the, um, poked the holes in the signatures. I've already poked the holes in the back of the uh, book that is made from Ty, uh, not Tyvek. Um, what is that called? <laughs> craft text. Yeah, craft text. So I'm getting ready to sew them in. And this is what it will look like when I get that finished. Of course, I will have, when I finish putting the tassels on it, or fringe as I call it, then of course you won't see quite as much of that just blatantly out there. But that's what the back of it will look like when I finish sewing in my signatures. So I'm going to go ahead and get ready and sew them in now. And if you want to watch, you can. And if you don't want to watch, then you're free to go. I know, as if I could hold you here against your will. No, no, of course not. Anyway, I think that was a fortuitous um, mistake that I made because I think that they actually turned out prettier after I did the, um, and I usually start with the last one, so I'm just going to move these guys out of the way. But I think they turned out prettier after I added the, the one piece of paper to the outside of the uh, each signature. I think it, it turned out the whole is going to be prettier than it would have been were I to have done it the other way. So all I'm doing is sewing in. I'm using thread that is, um, let's see what number that is. And oh, of course I've got the thing fell off. Come here you. This is uh, DMC number, okay it's there somewhere. 435 and the reason I use this is because it pretty much matches the craft text so when it, when I've uh, got it well that's not going to go in that far because it has to hang down past the end of the page or past the end of the book so I can make my fringe properly and now I'm going to get everything tangled up so I like to use this because it matches the the um, craft text and since I'm sewing through the craft text on the outside then it's kind of nice that it matches. Okay, so let's get this tail in here, pull that out a little bit, and go through this hole, and we will do our normal, if we can get it through the hole. Oops, go there. Our normal, what's it called? Uh, pamphlet stitch binding. And why are you being difficult today? Go there. But I, th I think I'm going to like the way this one turns out. I think it's looking pretty. I also put one of my roll-off sheets in with in the middle of the signature. Not the middle as in what would be the open spread when you when you uh, look at the sig when you look at the book, but in the middle of the signature, in other words, uh, four pages in. Because it's now got seven pages plus the uh, let me just show you that real quick. So you'll have three pages that look like this. Oh, four, sorry, because you've got the outside one that's uh, the void one. And then you'll have a page that's a roll-off print, and then you'll have three that go the other way, and so that your middle has a total uh, full-page spread. 
And then of course when you look at it like this, then you have that, there's your roll off page. And look at that one, isn't that a pretty one? I picked a pretty one there. And this is the red section, so you can see it's the red, because it has the red butterfly. So when I picked the roll off page, it at le has at least one of the color that matches with the signature on one side, not necessarily on the other side because um, that got too much for me to, to worry about. This one actually has a white one there. But I like the way it looks, so it's a keeper. Okay, so this was the other one that I'm using for the bottom. And I do it on the inside just in case I want to add any little baby butterflies in there or uh, anything else like that. And so, as soon as I can get that hardest part, of course, as they say, is threading the needle. As soon as I can get through there. If you are new to watching me, then you may not have seen me make one of these journals before. And uh, just be aware that in my channel, you can find all of the things that have led up to the point that I am at right now making the journal. In other words, I have made, uh, basically, tutorials on this. Oh, that's a pretty butterfly too. Come on, where's the hole? They heal up sometimes, I think. Okay, not really, but it sounded good. Isn't it pretty? That's going to be a pretty, a pretty spread in the middle there. Okay, that's right. I'm like, is that right? Yeah, that is right. Okay, so then we come back into the inside through this hole again, if we can get it to work. The center the center one of these three. I made myself, of course, a template to um, punch the holes in the signatures. And we're gonna go like that. And take our thing off and tie these together. And you always have the one one thread on each side. As I was saying earlier, sorry, I didn't complete that sentence probably. If you are new to my channel, you can go back and look at some of the other videos that I've done to see how I actually put together a book like this uh, from start to finish. I think this one's turning out lovely. Let me just show you this again. This is so pretty. Look at, look at right there. Look at right here. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? That's going to be the first thing that you see. No, first thing of the last signature. Sorry. <laughs> I could have put that one first. Oh, well, didn't do it. It's going to be the last one. That's all right. I like it like that, too. Okay, next signature to go in is number five. And I need to wax my thread for that. I'll let you just look at that page while I'm getting the next thread and waxing it. Okay, that's a long one, and that's a short one. No, that's another long one. I put, the, I put them separated so they wouldn't get them all mixed up, and of course, now I'm getting them all mixed up. This won't take long. I always wax my thread. It helps to keep it from tangling so much, plus it uh, makes it not, 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 not. It makes, I think that, it makes the knots stay together better whenever you finish tying your knots. Could be wrong. Okay, so I do the first, the top. See, I make mark the top on there because that's not going to show. And I also marked on here which signature was which. I decided I was uh, going through and I just made arbitrarily how I was going to put together the signatures, which signature was which. Um, just, I do that kind of make up stuff as I go as to which one's going to be what. These are going to be my fringe, so they're all going to be about the same length. So I'll put that there, and then I'll go into the top hole and come out there, go down to the next one, and go in, of course. Come on. So we go out, go, go into the center hole of these three, go out the top hole, then go into the bottom hole and come back out the center hole and tie around the string that's out there. That's another center spread. I think that one's going to look pretty too. Looks pretty. And come back up there and we are ready. And you try not to, try not to pierce your string. I mean, 
If you do, I guess it really won't kill it, but it's best if you don't because then your strings are all separate and so on. Okay, so these two, and I'm going to tie them. And I did just do a simple um, double knot on the other one, square knot, but this one I am going to use the, uh, they call it surgeon's knot, which means that you loop this one through twice and then pull it tight. And I don't know that that, it's supposed to make it stronger or keep from untying easier or something like that. Okay, now I need a short piece of thread, which I have one here. Nope, that's not it. This one here. It's not that short. I actually made my ones for the bottom quite long, not as long as the ones for the top, of course, because they don't have to hang down or hang out. But I did make them a little bit longer than I anticipated. So um, they do, they are a little bit longer when I'm tying uh, sewing them in. Okay, there we go. And again, it's going to be on the inside. Go through the center hole, out through the center hole of these three here. <clears throat> and I think I went to the top again. And if I didn't, well, it's not going to really matter whether you go to the top or the bottom. You won't really be able to distinguish which way you went from inside. And let's get that to go through all of these pages. It's not wanting to go through all the pages yet. Come on, there's a hole there somewhere. Okay. I don't know how. I, I really don't understand how that hole can seem to, to close up when you are trying to sew through it. It just doesn't want to um, have the thread go through for some reason. And there we have that's good. Now we can come back in on the center hole. Hopefully it's not closed up any. Ah, beautiful. It came right in. Okay, we've got both of them on the same side of the thread, so I'm going to move this needle over to the other side of the, to the other side of this thread that is in here. And then we'll have one on each side and tie it off. And we'll have the second signature sewn in our book. Of course, it will be number six and number five. And look, this thread just blends right into that one. I think that's nice. One, two, and perfect. And if, you're, if you want your thread to blend in and it doesn't blend in, you can go back and paint it. I've done that in several books, in some books that I've made. Not one of these, but some different ones. Let's get in my way, putting that over here, put this over here, get everybody out of the way. Okay, next, let me do another long one. Quickly use my wax on my thread, just pull it through the, pull the thread through the wax. Uh, this wax I've had for eons, so it's, it used to, it came as a little square bar Know, rectangular bar and you know haven't used it up in <clears throat> probably 20 years so if you ever get beeswax and just uh, find it in the sewing section of your store and if you ever get your beeswax then you can uh, just use that there's the next set signature it turned out rather pretty I like the way this this looks right here I think that's really cool of course, I like the whole thing, or I wouldn't have put it in there because I redo them if they don't look good. And that one was perfect. It went in right away. That's the center of that section. This is the blue butterfly series ones. So let's make him about the length of the other ones. I'm just making sure my tail is the same length as the other tails that are out there. And that's close enough. So then we go down to the to the third hole and come back in the signature, which is right there. And that worked like a dream. I guess I'd, some of these holes, maybe I didn't punch as well as I had hoped. And then come back out the middle again. And we want to make sure it's on the other side of the thread. Make sure we don't puncture our other thread as we do it. Come on, guys. And they should be about the same length. Come on now. Let's pull it 
tight. And it's a little bit shorter, but it'll probably work. So I have to have this thread as long as the book is tall, plus about an inch and a half or two inches so that I can um, put my fringe on because when I've, I put the fringe, the beads on the thread, then I actually sew back up into the last few beads to keep it, uh, make it secure. Okay, that's, we're a third of the, or uh, half the way there as soon as I get the bottom part of this one done. A little more. Um, I usually go through about twice or three times sometimes on my thread, through my wax. But uh, do the bottom part of this and we'll be halfway finished with putting the signatures in. Then, of course, I have to put the covers on. And I'll show you that later. I won't show you putting them on because I've done that in a couple of different videos, but I will show you when it's done and show you how beautiful it turns out. There goes a bottle of paint that fell over because I bumped it. Get this out of the way. I forget to take things off my desk sometimes as I'm doing things and then find it annoying when they try to escape. Okay, that came in good. That went well. Okay, and then out here. And then back in through the center. And we've got quite a bit, quite a long string there, so we're going to take a little bit of that tail. And then hold that as we bring it back in. That helps to not uh, get your it helps to line up the holes, plus it helps not to have your uh, thread to uh, pierce the other thread. So that's something that uh, you can use to hold on to that tail and it'll help it. This one may look very red to you, but if you look at it uh, closely, it's got a lot of, it's got some blue in there and the gold in there, and it's got a light blue in there that actually has some outlines of smaller butterflies in it. There's one, I think, right here that you might be able to see. But it's a, it's kind of interesting print. I like it. Maybe it's quite long today. I don't know. Probably trim them off. Okay, so we've got three done and three more to go. And let's see how we're doing on time. Because usually my videos, I want to have less than 30 minutes. First of all, so you don't get bored. And second of all, so that they will upload to YouTube easily. Because sometimes it takes forever to upload it to YouTube. Again, waxing my thread. And... Okay, that didn't work. I got two of the the uh, thread that I'm using. It's the I so it showed you the um, DMC floss type that it is, but I've uh, split the floss in two so that each strand that each uh, strand of floss that I'm using is actually three <coughs> three strands of thread because the DMC floss, of course, is six strand. So I split it in two and use three for each. One. Did everybody go through there? Yay. Okay. So, next one. Okay. Now, don't... The last one did so well, so, of course, this one has to be persnickety and not want to get in there. Come on, guys. Where are you? Okay. I got all those. Now we need the rest of these. There's the hole. There we go. To the inside, then back to the outside again. And we want it I left. I didn't leave long enough. Um, I mean, I left too long a tail there. Come on. Get that guy there. Make this as long as these guys are. Okay. Ready to go. 
continue to put through the hole and hopefully it will go straight in. And of course it's not going to, oh, it did, yay! Hold this one as I come back out. Perfect. Sometimes it is so fast to sew in a signature and sometimes it takes forever because they, they don't want to go through the holes and your thread doesn't want to thread and you know just all those different exasperating things that can happen when you're trying to put together a book. I just realized the insides of these two signatures are similar. This one's got, uh, this one has gold butterflies, and this one has the blue butterflies. From the top, you can see that they're both red, red signatures in the center. Well, that's kind of interesting, and that was totally by accident. Whether it's a good thing or not, doesn't really, I mean, it, 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 they both look good. They're both good prints, but it's just uh, interesting that two consecutive signatures have red in the middle. I mean, I don't mind it. I wouldn't mind writing in a journal like this. Okay. Okay, that's the wrong kind of thread. That's one of my long threads, so I don't want to use that up. Use one of my shorter threads. Sorry, I got the wrong one. Picked up the wrong one. Let go there. I could tell it was it was too long to be a bottom thread. If you're using um, other kinds of yarns, the uh, wax also helps take off any frazzles that might frazzles. I guess that's a word. Is that a word? Takes off any um, extra lint, it seems like, from your from your yarn, from whatever you, you, you know, slide through it. So that's another thing that your uh, wax can do for you. Going out the bottom hole and holding my thread on the inside as I go in here again. And it went in perfectly, just like it's supposed to. It's not on the other side of the thread, so we'll just go ahead and, and scoot that over there. And then we can tie these. And we've got two-thirds of it finished because we've got four out of six signatures in now. One. Two. And there we have it. Next. We've already waxed this one, so we don't have to re-wax it. That's, this is the one I threaded a moment ago to do signature number three, but uh, the third, third signature for our book to put it in, but I mean, to put the bottom of it in, but that was the wrong one. And of course, it won't go into my needle now. Sometimes the wax can help with that too. All right, if you're having lots of trouble threading your needle, there is a trick. Because if you have a large needle eye, which we do because this is a darning needle rather than a sewing needle, then you can take your thread and you can lay it into a piece of paper that you have folded over and that fits through the eye of your needle when you folded it over. And then that will pull, <laughs> if you don't let the thread out of the, out of the paper. Okay, but that will pull the thread into the needle. Come on, thread. Why are you not cooperating? There we go. Now I got it. Yay. There's always more than one way to thread a needle. Okay. Next is our number two signature, which I think is lovely. I love this piece of paper. It's got gold and greenish shimmers to it. It's beautiful. And the center of the signature, this is the purple signature, has a lacy uh, background with butterflies, purple butterflies on it, of course. 
and the roll off pieces there. It's kind of pretty too. I think it's got, it has purple butterflies because I did make sure that my roll off piece had, uh, you know, whatever color that goes with the um, section that I was doing. Signature that I was doing. Okay, now we have to go into this signature hole. Come on, you. Who's not in? It's in that one. It's in that one. Everybody but the center one. I don't know why you tried to tried to get loose. Didn't get loose. Can't get loose. Okay, and I will hold the outside thing. And then next to the last signature to sew in. Last one that I, my last butterfly book that I did, which I call butterfly book, I call this one butterfly journal. Don't know why. Uh, the last one was with the roll offs for the butterfly prints, and I made that a rainbow uh, fringe on the back, and that was a real pain to try to find all the different colors uh, beads because I didn't have, didn't seem to have very many purple beads, and I thought I had purple beads, but I guess I didn't have. Of course, after I finished uh, doing the fringe on that one, I looked through, was putting away my beads, and guess what I found? Bunches of purple beads. So I don't know how I overlooked them when I was trying to find the beads for it. Oh, come on. Okay, give me back my paper, and let's make this paper a bit shorter. What do you think? Yeah, I think it'll work better that way. Lay your thread in your paper. Close your paper up. Thread your paper through the eye of your needle. And your thread goes with it. Ta-da! Annoying. Annoying that you have to do it that way because the thread wants to misbehave. Oh, that went right through that hole. Yay! bottom and hold my thread as I come back inside. Okay, come into the hole that that thread is in. Yay, it did. One on each side of the thread. Ooh, look at that, isn't that pretty? Anyway, I had cut these down earlier to the eight and a half inch tall, um, eight and a half inch height that they had needed to be for the journal. And I just think that sometimes when you get rid of that extra, whatever extra it is, I guess it's three and a half inches because they start out at 12, 12 inches high and 14 inches wide. So when you get rid of that extra three inches at the top, Sometimes it makes your eye focus differently on the piece of paper and you get a whole different look to what the page will look like when you, you know, when you put it in your journal. I mean, that page is gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? You, you could write a poem there. Of course, this is going to be probably folded over because it's going to need to go, you know, to be the uh, five and a half inch width. But you could, you know, fold it out, write your poem and then fold it back. And I will tear off or cut off all of these white edges. And I meant to do that before I put the book together, but I didn't. So it'll work out. It'll all work out. Okay. One last signature and I'm finished. And I'd like to thank you all for being here watching and subscribing, commenting, and all the rest of that. I do appreciate it. I'm amazed at some uh, people that I've watched on YouTube and how many subscribers they had. And, and of course, I've only been doing YouTube for a year now. So um, if you, like, are trying to look for old, old things, you're not going to find too many of them from me. But there are uh, 
you know, people that have been here for four years that have a million subscribers. So it's like, okay, if I've been here a year and they have a million subscribers, but it doesn't work that way. It's not a linear function. I mean, you don't, you don't uh, get the same number of subscribers each month or each, each year or anything like that. It seems like it, you can just get uh, a certain number and then uh, it'll, it'll balloon for a while. You'll get bunches for a while and then it goes back to being one or two every, every month. And then it goes up again. So I don't know, I guess you have to have a viral video or something if you want to really get lots of, lots of subscribers or you have to have a following that is not uh, YouTube related and have all of them subscribe to you. Um, and there we have that one. Let's make sure it's, oh, it is on both on the other side. One, back through twice. And there you have that. And now we just have to do the bottom and we're finished with sewing in the signatures. And the next thing to do is to cover the, the cover boards and glue them onto the um, stuff here. I also need to check and decide what I'm going to do for a for a closure because uh, the last closure I used, I used some silk and uh, ran it through under the uh, signature threads and that looked okay, but uh, I don't know if I want to do the same thing again. I'd like to do things differently every time. I don't know if what, what it is in my nature that makes me want to do something new and different all the time, but that's the way it is. So, I will try to figure out what I'm going to do for my my um, closure. Yep. If you have any suggestions, please leave them below because I like to read all of your comments and I will read your suggestions as to what you think I should do with the closure and maybe, maybe I'll use your suggestion. Maybe I won't. Please don't get upset if I don't. Okay. And that's the center of the first signature. So we're finished with our signatures in our book. And that's all for tonight. So if you have not subscribed, please do so. If you have subscribed and you like my stuff, Leave a comment, leave a, leave a thumbs up, uh, share, and uh, I think it's going to look great. Thank you for watching. Please come back again soon. Bye now.